Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday here. Another cold day in New Hampshire. So, all our puppies are finally going home. I think we have a few that are going home today from Cali, and then they've all gone home. So, that's always bittersweet for us because we have them from day one and we get attached to them. We learn their little personalities. So, it's always nice to see them go to their new homes and see how happy their families are to get them. Um, so today what uh, we're going to be doing is probably errands. Um, we usually try to uh, regroup and get things done. I've already cleaned out our puppy room here. Um, all the wood shavings are cleaned out. I just have to deep sanitize it and get ready for Hopefully our next litters, I won't still know any of that and for another couple of weeks. You gotta wait about a good 30 days before you can um, do an ultrasound to see if they're pregnant or not. So I've decided to make some soup today, a cool recipe that I found, um, broccoli cheddar soup. So I got that going in the crock pot because it's super cold out. Um, our dogs go out, but there's like a limited time. So we had, I have that today. I made it for later. Um, I gotta make a run to Tractor Supply to buy dog food. We are low. Um, so we usually buy in bulk, but it's snowing out. So we can only fit X amount in the car per trip. So we'll probably get like 10 bags. And then it can go in the back of the car. It's going to be dry. Our pickup truck is full of snow. We got more snow yesterday. So um, I don't want all that dog food to get wet. Um, so we won't, be, we won't be able to put it in the truck. Unless I use a tarp. And that's kind of a pain. So we'll do that today. Um, we do feed grain free. A lot of people ask us what we feed our Danes. We feed for health grain free. I know there's a lot of controversy about grain free but what i always tell everybody you know feed your dogs what works for you um this works for us we've tried grain dog food and uh you know it just didn't work for us they were really gassy we have one that is have grain allergies and he looks like rocky when he eats anything with grain in it so we don't want to feed um, a lot of different kinds of dog food to our dogs. So we we chose to go grain free. We've never had a problem. Um, our um, that dog food does have um, taurine fortified in it to help with the heart. Um, so yeah, we just tell people if you want to once you have your puppy, if you want to transition them to anything that you feel comfortable with do it but this works for us so I didn't want to start a debate about it but that's what we use everybody asks what we kind we use and we use for health it's from tractor supply um, it's a good quality dog food they do have regular food there too with grain in it you can get that they have a lot of different formulated uh, for sensitive they have it for cats we don't feed our cats that but we do feed our Danes that so today we'll be going to tractor supply to get dog food um, we like to um, stock up between litters or just if we're getting low like we're getting low we have um, we had hit some of the sales for Black Friday we normally buy like 20 bags out of whack uh, our friends down at tractor supply know us and they're really great um, making sure that they have the supply on hand for us so that's what we feed our babies um, our dogs also don't eat just regular dry kibbles i wish they did but they don't so they have mixed in canned dog food they have hamburger and rice they have cottage cheese they get yogurt they love peanut butter so we do a variety of different things for them so it kind of balances out of you know what they have they won't eat just plain dog food unless they're very desperate and that's probably why some of my Danes are a little bit on the chubby side so um, yeah I am working on trying to slim Farley down I did notice from his last visit to this visit from last year he's gained about 
almost 30 pounds. So he was like 150, now he's like 179. So I'm just gonna try to slim him down a little bit for his own joints and um, his own health. It's hard because, you know, he loves to eat and they love snacks and stuff, but um, he's, you know, he's overweight, so I wanna slim him down. So we do, we will start watching like Ellie too, where she was just spayed to make sure she doesn't kind of go over that overweight. Um, Fiona is another one that's spayed and she's kind of on the chubby side, just a little. Don't tell her that though. So she did cut back on her dog food, but she will not cut back on her biscuits. That's just something she's not willing to live without. And um, she's almost eight this spring, so there's no sense of, you know, torturing the old girl. Um, but we do some of our older ones, like Frankie's older, but he's impeccable shape. Like, he's not overweight. He's very tall. He's very muscular. So he still gets, you know, the same amount that we feed our, our bigger dogs. So all of our dogs eat about eight cups of kibbles a day. That's not including like the, the stuff that we add to it, but eight cups, um, we try to slim back like Fiona and Farley. So far are the only ones that mother and son that we try to slim them back a little bit just because they are on the hefty side. They do get exercise. They get to go out and run and play as much as they want, but it's just something with the Danes, it's not good for the joints. So um, that's something we're working on. So we just got back from Tractor Supply and there's a shortage on dog food. So we had to back order our dog food and we're only able to get four bags, but we were able to get all our bird food. So hopefully it comes in soon. So I got my helper working today. So let's see how cold it is today. Look at the ice cubes on the house. This is what... This has got to be broke. It's saying, what, 35 out? I don't think that's right. Because my car says 27. All the snow. My birds, this is the welcoming committee when they know you got goodies. Those are our two, um, one's a blue slate and I guess one is a lavender turkey. Aren't they cool? <laughs> I got you guys your favorite donuts. <laughs> Grab her. I bet you she outdoes them. So they love donuts. <laughs> Pickles. That's our boy, Pickles, and Peanuts are white, peeking. Do you want to throw this in for him? They love corn. Oh, they got one of their donuts out here. Here you go, girls. I'm gonna check for eggs. So, another prob project this summer is to redo this. We had a um, carport over it and the snow took it down. So this is the inside and I don't see any eggs. They've been really not laying many eggs. They just ain't feeling it I guess. It's been cold. Nothing. We're only been getting like couple eggs a day if that the ducks have been laying pretty well but we did already get our duck egg for the day so kind of doing the deep clean method on this I just keep adding to it and then the spring I'm gonna do a good cleaning of their coop but it keeps them warmer who's that handsome fella hi four hi buddy so Farley's out. Ebby's out. Here, hon. Put it in your bag. Your bag's empty. Oh, goodness. So 
so this is my soup. Um, I love check, uh, cheddar broccoli soup, so I decided to make a nice pot of it. He's one of our older guys, but this is uh, pretty much our office room, kind of a collect-all room, but he has his own bed because um, he's older, so he doesn't like to do the stairs, so we keep his bed down here. Oh, blah, blah. So he's kind of spoiled. Um, the girls aren't, the girls don't come in here. Sometimes I'll find Eva in here taking a nap too, but this is where like Frankie likes to, um, sleep. It's more comfortable for him. He's our big guy. So even getting on the couch, um, you know, it's, it's a little bit because the couch is small or here, here he can sprawl out. I'm not sure why he's panting. It's cold today, but he is. Ha, ba, ba. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. And the cats come in here too into his room, so he doesn't care. Sometimes I'll find Isabel in here sleeping with him. Oh my god, you gotta get 